Hi there, this is the second video in the series of long division, but with a new method. So in the first video, we talked about the mnemonic device to help us remember dangerous monkeys swing backwards, and that stands for division, multiplication, subtraction, and bring down. And those are the steps that we're going to follow to do our long division, because it is indeed long. So the example that we have is 6,408 divided by 8. And I've <clears throat> chosen this example to use a multiples grid. And you don't have to use the multiples grid if you don't want to, but it really does help, especially if you're not super sure on your multiplication tables yet. Uh, it helps you to um, take the time to write things down so you don't have too many steps to do when you actually get to the long division. So all you do is make a, um, a little table with nine spaces, and in each space you write the multiples of the number that you're going to divide by. So in this case it's eight, so in the first square it's one times eight is eight, 2 times 8 is 16, 3 times 8 is 24, and so on. And that will help us find the number that works the best when we're doing our division. So I'm going to come up to the top here and get started. <clears throat> so our first one, first step that we're going to do here is division. So I want to see how many times does 8 go into 6. Well, I know I can't do that because that number is not going to work. I can't do 8 times something is 6. So whenever that's the case, I always go to the next number and work there. So the next number is 64. So I say to myself, 8 times something is 64. Well, luckily I have my multiples grid down here. So I'm looking for a number that is close to 64 or under without going over. Ah, here it is, 64 exactly. So I know that 64 is divisible by 8, goes in 8 times. So I'm going to come up over here, 8 goes into 64 8 times, 64 divided by 8 is 8, there's our first step done, that's division. So now we're going to move on to multiplication. So for our multiplication step, we're multiplying the two numbers on the side here. 8 times 8 is 64. There's our multiplication step. Then we're going to do our next one, subtraction. 64 minus 64 is 0. And then our fourth step, bring down. So we're going to bring down the next number, which is 0. So be careful when this happens, because mistakes often happen here, because people think, oh, I don't have any number to do my next steps with, so I'm just going to keep going. So I'm going to keep going and show you the mistake that most people make and why it's important to really pay close attention when this happens in a long division. So when you have a 0 here, imagine you say, oh, I can't keep going, it's zero. So I'm just gonna keep bringing the numbers down. So if I bring this down double, I'll have an eight. And I know that I'm gonna keep doing my steps here. So I start with division, eight goes into eight one time. So I put a one up here. Then that's my division, eight times one is eight. I do my subtraction. 8 minus 8 is 0, and then I have nothing to bring down. Then I'm going to look at my answer, I'm going to have 81. And if I check that on a calculator, 81 times 8 is not 6,408. 6,408 divided by 8 is not 81. So you really need to be careful here. There's a missing digit somewhere in here. So if this happens, never do the double bring down. We're going to get rid of this and do it the right way. So when you get a digit that's zero, when you're bringing it down, you're going to do the same thing and following the steps on the side. So you're going to say, how many times does eight go into zero? Well, it goes in zero times. So that's the mistake we made before, that that zero has to be there as the second digit and I keep going with my steps. Eight times zero is zero. Do my subtraction, zero minus zero is zero. 
and then I'm going to bring it down. Continue with the next step. So I bring down, I have my eight there, and I keep going with my division as the first step. How many times does eight go into eight? It goes in once. Eight times one is eight. Eight minus eight is zero. And I'm done, I do not have a remainder there. So very, very important to remember, if this happens with that extra zero, do not just put uh, the next number and keep going. If you think this is too much, by all means, you can skip this step and just put a zero there. As long as you remember to put the zero, you're good. So that's how you do 6,408 divided by eight. The answer is 801 with no remainders.